Hey guys, remember this great game slash abomination? Uh oh. <sighs> but hey, jokes aside, everyone, Cuphead's getting DLC. And of course, <laughs> I'm a month late to do this joke. Of course, the abomination known as Cuphead is now getting DLC. Yay, more fan art. Woohoo, more Rule 34. Yay, woohoo. But uh, never mind, Cuphead. Right now, we're talking about something even worse than Cuphead. Yup, you guessed it. Fortnite. <gasps> yup, you got that right, kiddos. Fortnite. Oh, but, but meantime, you can't talk about Fortnite. Fortnite's your favorite game. No, no, no. Hold on, kiddos. <laughs> I like Fortnite myself. And yes, you may be bullying me because I'm the odd ones out because I talk shit about Fortnite. Well, um, you know, it's not bad to critique a game that you like. Hello everyone, Meantai here, and today we have a, a devilish plan on our hands. Today, we're talking about Fortnite. Now listen, I like Fortnite. I play the game 24-7. I spend my own money. On something called in-game currency. I like Fortnite. But when it comes to the fandom, when it comes to the forums, I'm out of here. See now, yes, I may understand that right now you are getting triggered. I'm talking about Fortnite. <laughs> well, don't worry. It's okay. That's why they let you unsubscribe from the channel. Now, if you don't mind, let's go on trending and let's go to gaming. As you can see, Fortnite is everywhere. Of course, you have the little bit of a, what is it, of, of different type of videos that you can watch when it comes to Fortnite 36 and uh, I found a fan's Minecraft USB. But half of it is Fortnite. Now, as you all know, Fortnite is in fact dying. Now, of course, less people are playing it, less people are making, uh, what is it, less, less people are going on to this game. Basically, after a little while, it gets boring. But, as you can see, it seems like Fortnite isn't dying when it comes to YouTube. Now, let's check our favorite YouTuber, our, the person who just... Like just makes me regain my faith in humanity Allie as you can see here Allie mostly clickbaits his stuff He states a new season 5 discoveries which in the thumbnail he shows a pirate ship Although I've played Fortnite. I watch videos on Fortnite. There's no pirate ship in the map Now as you can see he makes the normal thumbnails the red arrows the surprised face the, 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 the stupid shit, you know? Ali A 1v1 versus the random player, whatever, you know? But, uh, Ali A is a clickbaiter, obviously. He clickbaits Fortnite the most, because although Fortnite is in fact dying, it doesn't matter. You can still make easy currency off of Fortnite. As long as you clickbait, as long as you have at least a decent amount of acting. And as long as your video is entertaining. So basically while watching a Fortnite video, you can obviously everything sort of recommended to you relies on Fortnite. It doesn't matter what you were watching before, whether I was as you can see I was watching Charmix, which it is of course recommended to me. But once you are watching Fortnite, you get bombarded with video after video after video of either clickbait. Or just something retarded. Do you guys remember Minecraft roleplays? Well then welcome because Fortnite roleplays are now officially a thing. Stacy, I told you! You're the only girl for me! <laughs> oh Todd, you know exactly what to say! If only I could say something like that to little Kelly! Then maybe we'd actually be going out! So huh? What was that? Jo 
gone? What is he doing? Why would he be sneaking out in the middle of the night? So now, right off the bat, not only is the video extremely cringy and pretty shitty when it comes to story, it is also bombarded with ads. You have one, two, three, four, five, six ads on this video. Now, don't get me wrong, six ads is a little less when it comes to role plays like these, but six ads is still a decent amount. So, not gonna lie, you can obviously see that. When it comes to a Fortnite roleplay, this is honestly very shitty. <laughs> Dude, just, just watch a little bit of it. That is quite alright, son. I take it these are the other members of your team. I welcome you both. John tells me you are magnificent warriors. I'm sorry, but can someone please explain to me what exactly is going on here? Now, when it comes to the voices, as well as the uh, so-called role-playing, it's it's very shitty. The voices are are interesting, at least, I'd like to say. Not gonna lie, most of the voices sound a little bit the same. Maybe there's at least one or two different people working on a voice in this. But they honestly do all sound the same when it comes to uh, character voices. Now, when it comes to content... This is very boring. There is a lack of creativity, honestly. Um, when it comes to the title of the video, when John Wick was a noob, noob training, honestly, it it kind of it, it doesn't sound very interesting. Now, I understand when it attracts little kids, but when it's towards a much higher maturity group. It does not add up to uh, consistency as well as creativity and what is it uh, when it comes to the wa or the viewer paying attention towards the video. You can easily get distracted while watching this because of the lack of of um what is it the lack of attention and the lack of creativity going on in this video. Now, here's the type of video that I've been noticing going around when it comes to Fortnite. The lucky versus unlucky versus smart or lucky versus karma versus unlucky in Fortnite. Um, honestly, they, it sounds very stupid when it comes to a lucky and unlucky and a smart player all battling against each other. Basically, this stuff doesn't happen on purpose. It happens by an accident. A player can just be lucky because they found a golden scar. A player can get karma because, like, in one of the thumbnails he's doing Take the L, he can easily be sniped. But when it comes to these videos, it shows them happening on purpose. It's, it's honestly very dumb. It's a very boring concept. It is, it's just a lack of creativity because they all just state the same exact thing and do the same exact thing in every single video. Now, look at this. It states that the character is lucky because a glitch happened. No, that is not luck. They're not lucky because a glitch happened. Basically, they, as you can see, they won a game of 50v50. This has nothing to do with luck. This has something to do with bugs. Now, obviously, this bug would, in fact, be helpful to the player while they are playing. But this is a bug that should be noticed by Epic Games and should be fixed immediately basically this pl this player isn't lucky they're just playing a normal game of fortnite and have gone through something that has either interrupted their game or has interrupted their uh what is it their their focus As you can see there, I don't think that's considered lucky. I literally, I, 
though I don't know how that is supposed to be lucky. I don't understand the concept of this video. I don't understand what how this is supposedly lucky of how it states. I do not understand what what this video is. So now another thing that goes around when it comes to Fortnite and videos on YouTube, there are the Fortnite compilations. Basically, they just bring a whole bunch of different people's content and put them all in one sort of video to show you what they've done in their game. Now, this doesn't promote the person's YouTube channel or something. All they do is steal someone else's content and just upload it into one video. Now, there is a channel that I am subscribed to which does in fact show Fortnite compilations. Their name is BCC Trolling. BCC Trolling, it's... Honestly, it's very difficult when it comes to BCC Trolling. BCC Trolling actually takes people's submitted videos and puts them in their compilations. Now, Fortnite compilations are a, a ongoing thing. Basically, anyone can do them. Anyone can get views off of them. Anyone can get currency. They're very easy to make. They are very, uh, when it comes to creativity, there is, I'd say, zero. Because they're not being creative. All they're doing is taking someone else's work and putting them into one huge thing. Hey, listen, you guys all, the, all know those those great song creators like, uh, let's see, um, Eminem, uh, Post Malone, um, Little Pump, uh, Big Shaq. <laughs> Forget all of them. Because you don't need real music. You need Fortnite rap battles. Honestly, guys, I think I'm gonna have to rewatch Rick and Morty. I think my IQ just went down by at least 50%. Do you know that I am the king of dusty? You try too hard, but you smell it mad musty. The, the best, best lyrics I have ever heard. Famous rappers are being destroyed by, by, by nerd out. Who, who, if, if you don't know who this person is, you will get bullied in school. If you don't know who this person is, you will not get a girlfriend. If you don't know who this person is, just kill yourself. Because you can't live without this beautiful song just running through your mind all day, 24-7. Like, if you're thinking of committing suicide, just listen to this song. And you'll want to do it even more. Believe me. Now, when it comes to Fortnite Battle Royale, when it comes to the age group of children, this is basically the equivalent. I want you to know that Fortnite has older people playing it, okay? But when it comes to the majority of people playing it, it is these annoying little brats right here. I recently have met a kid on Fortnite who said bad words like frick and 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 a b arch he said he cursed everyone out in the lobby he then raged because he was dying in Fortnite i then proceeded to laugh basically when it comes to the Fortnite fans it is an equivalent to a no, no 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 when it comes to fortnite fans their iq is the equivalent of a ceiling fan when it comes to fortnite fans the age group is basically a trash can because no matter what age no matter how old you are and you're playing fortnite you are utter garbage basically I'm calling myself utter garbage, but it's worth it because Fortnite Battle Royale 
is a great game and is bombarded with pieces of shits. This has been I Despise Fortnite Part 1, the series of I Despise.